There are so many different languages in the world. Why would you want to spend your time and your money and your effort to learn English when there are so many other languages you could learn? Well, let's talk about a few of the reasons that English is an advantage. First of all, when we look at languages that people learn, that is just their language in their home and in their community, language is the third most spoken language in the world. Then, if we add the people that learn English, not the people that were born speaking it, but people like you who have learned English and have been using it to speak, then it is the most spoken language in the world, the very most spoken language in the world. In fact, one time I thought it was interesting, I was at a hotel in Spain and a couple from Japan were checking in right in front of me and I couldn't help but overhear their conversation as they were checking into the hotel. The, the clerk at the desk asked if they spoke Spanish and they didn't. So he asked if they spoke English and they did. Now the clerk was from Spain so he spoke Spanish and English and the Japanese couple spoke Spanish and English. So while neither one of them could speak the native language of the other person, they were able to communicate in English and check into the hotel. So just by speaking English you can communicate with a great majority of the people in the world that you meet. And then also if you're looking in technology, most of the web pages on the internet are written in English. 55% are written in English. So more than half of everything that's on the internet is in English. So if you learn English, that gives you access to the majority of what's on the internet. So that is a lot of information that you have access to just by learning English. Then in science, English is the language of science. So when people do research and publish their findings, 95% of the science papers are published in English. And half of those papers were written by a native Eng English speaker. So the other half means that the scientists that did the science had to learn English to publish their papers and to publish their findings in science to make it available to the greater community. And then we when we talk about a aviation with airplanes and pilots, um, English is the official language of flying. So to be able to fly an airplane or be an air traffic controller, you need to know English. And they use that for safety because airplanes can go to many different countries, many different places, and you can't learn every language for every country you're going to fly into. So they use English as the official language so that everyone can communicate in the same language and there isn't confusion. English is also used in diplomacy. So when countries get together to discuss things, quite often it's in English. So the official languages of FIFA, the United Nations, NATO, the Olympics, the World Bank, and many other organizations, their official language or one of their official languages is English. And so by learning English you are able to communicate in these important settings or to understand what they're saying. And then there's English and popular culture. You know, for example, Harry Potter or Shakespeare. If you want to read those in the original format, you need to know English. And not to mention Hollywood. There are so many movies or television shows that are produced in English that have become part of popular culture. By learning English, you're able to watch and understand those things and join in. And it's just fun to know those things. Then there's employment. When you're looking for a job, because so many places use English to communicate, 
it makes you very desirable for people looking for employees. So if you speak English, you have a better chance of getting a job over someone that doesn't. In fact, many jobs require that you speak English if they are going to hire you. So you have a potential to get a better job and earn more money. You know, who doesn't want extra money? We all would love to have extra money. So English is very important. Um, it helps a lot with your earning potential. And these are a lot of the ideas that I came up with and that I found on the internet, but what motivates you? Why do you personally want to spend time learning English? Leave me a message in the comments and tell me why you want to learn English. I would love to hear from you and to know uh, what motivates you. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.